Dr. Romano, it looks like you're doing some physics again. Yes, I'd like to go over circular motion with you to help you on the exam. What I'm going to show you is multiple concepts, which means that this video will have many, many potential questions that can land. In this question, we have a 150 gram ball that is swung in a horizontal circle, a radius 1.5 meters, 1.15 meters for two revolutions per second. So you can imagine you got this guy here and he's twirling a ball um, for, on a string. If clockwise motion is assumed, I want to draw the acceleration and the velocity vectors. What I did is I gave you this picture. So this is given. Now, the, the force and acceleration are both center seeking. So if you were at point A and I said, where is the acceleration or the force vector? It would be going downward towards the center. B, it would be going upward. C, it would be going to the right, to the right. And at D, to the left, center seeking. Velocity is tangent to the direction of motion. So if it's going clockwise and you're at A, just follow the direction of the motion. Therefore, the tangent line would be going to the right. B, the tangent line would be going to the left. So if I ever said to you, you were at point B at the bottom of the arc and the string broke, where would it go? It would go tangent, meaning it would go to the left. If you were at point C, where's the tangent line? It would be going up, and at D, it would be going down. So that's how you would draw those vectors. Part B, what would be the acceleration or the centripetal acceleration? The trick to the question is if you're ever given revolutions, you've got to find the time. Two revolutions is one second. If you divide it by two, you get it in terms of one revolution is one divided by two is 0.5 seconds. Here's the key formula you're going to use if you're ever given revolutions in time. Two pi r equals vt, where this is the circumference, which is the distance around the circle, two pi r. Plugging it in, two pi r, there's the radius that was given, there's the time that we got, we got the velocity. Once you got the velocity, the centripetal acceleration is v squared r. We know the velocity, 14.4, and square it, divided by the radius. The numbers here were done with a calculator in the Oak Destroyer, or the OAT Destroyer book, the physics questions, will have the numbers much nicer as well as on the actual exam. So we got 181.4 meters per second squared. Finally, find the, the centripetal force. I'm going to use F equals MA for that. We know the mass is 150 grams, converted into kilograms. The centripetal acceleration we already found to be 181.4 meters per second squared. So we come out with the final answer of 27.2 newtons. I hope this helps on a very, very important problem. If you can do this, you should have no problem on the OAT exam on any types of questions they can ask. Thanks, Dr. Romano. Are you going to be doing any more while we're on uh, lockdown quarantine? I hope you can do more. I'll be doing a lot more physics. Never spent a cent on videos. I will do them all for free for you. Good day to you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Dr. Romano. Can I bring you back a coffee and donut? Jeez. Good day to you, sir.